the election is coming. Who should I vote for for the school board? I can't answer that question. New York alone has over 700 school districts. But I can give you a few questions to ask. That's next. A bunch of years ago, I met a superintendent who had worked with a bunch of different school boards and many, many school board trustees. And he said that their motivation for being there boiled down to three reasons. Holding down taxes, stepping stone to higher office, and self-gratification. Now, it's kind of a cynical view of things, but you can smoke out the reality of school board candidates with a few simple questions. Number one, what is your direct experience with public education? Did you attend public school? Did your children attend public school? Do you have children in the public schools? There needs to be some sort of a connection, unlike a certain uh, education secretary at the federal level who shall remain nameless. The second question is a New York specific one. In, in Rockland and Westchester counties near where I live, nearly 20% of the kids are opting out of the Common Core state exams. Yay! So the question would be, what is the point of having the Common Core state assessments if a large number of parents are simply opting out? The answer to that question kind of speaks to whether this individual, one, has an understanding of the issue, and two, has a empathy for the parents and the reasons why so many of them are not taking the exams at all. And then it also raises the question if they understand the basic issue of, that, of fairness that this presents to the 80% that do take the test. Question number three, how do you feel about the expansion of charter schools? Now, you may not have a charter school in the particular district where you live, and in New York has 700 school districts. They don't all have charter schools, but New York does have 130,000 students attending 267 charter schools all over the state. So it matters. And what you're trying to, what you're trying to fish out in the, their answer to this question is whether they understand the basic issue of school choice and why very significant numbers of parents are looking for an option to the regular public schools. You're trying to see whether they understand that charter schools are regular public schools. You're trying to see whether this individual has a, has a global understanding of the uh, groundswell of interest in school choice. So, a couple of other fun facts about school board elections. The national incumbency rate for school board trustees is 81%. That's a 2014 statistic. Union-endorsed candidates win school board seats 75% of the time. The way that works is the union sends a letter out to the candidates that they like. They send a letter to their members that live within the zip codes around where the candidate is running, and they say, we got this guy, he's running for office, we think you should vote for him and 75% uh, of the time they win. New York City is America's largest school system with 1.1 million children. It has no Board of Education. It has, it, the New York City Department of Education is a mayoral agency. The chancellor is appointed by the mayor, but there's no Board of Education. They do have 32 community education councils, uh, but those members are appointed by local elected officials and by the PTAs. Yonkers has an appointed board. The board is appointed by the mayor and all of the other big five large cities have regular partisan elections that are held with Democrats and Republicans primary system in September and November. That's it. Thank you for watching. Good night.